Ah, good morning. Mm, and such. Yeah, anyway, two, two idiots, uh, Hannibal Barca and Heroin Church. Yeah, perfect together. Um, anyway, um, I did make a half-hour response video to Hannibal Barca. I didn't play, you know, I didn't preview his video. I just played it and responded to it. And, you know, it's just a half an hour of me just repeating the arguments. So, really a waste of time. So, I think I will paraphrase. Um, let's get it done now. Won't take much work, really. Um, all right, a couple of jokes to make. Um, the Piro thing, just off the... You know, the guy is talking like he's an authority on something. He doesn't even know the history of Piro's name. Um, you know, if you're going to use somebody as a source or a reference, you know, you can't make mistakes like that. It just makes you look really, really stupid. Uh, and so, um, and to, to get to the meat of the matter, uh, they didn't touch anything I was arguing. Um, he's arguing about, uh, our evolution of our intelligence. Um, I just don't think it's disputable that, uh, we gained our intelligence incidentally, okay? It wasn't something tested by natural selection. It wasn't something rewarded by natural selection. Uh, it wasn't a feature or an aspect, because obviously we weren't using it dramatically. We gained a little bit, an incremental bit of seed intelligence. It's almost like a computer. This computer works um, because two things have to happen. First, you have to have the hardware that makes it possible, and then you have to have the software that can run on it, that it can, it can access the ports and do the things and the mouse and the keyboard. It has to have the input devices. Um, and that's the game. And so, yeah, evolution gave us a, a crude computer that could finally do uh, this memory organization thing. And I've suggested that part of the things that might have been significant to the human development was the fact that infants are so disabled um, uh, that that might have something to do with it. The, match the slow maturation of the human being might have something to do with organizing the operating system. You know, that might be the Windows. That's when the Windows is developed so then the software can run efficiently and we can do this land on the moon thing. So let's understand that we landed on the moon with the same brain is that we use to put bones on the tip of arrows. All right, back when the only thing we knew how to do was make make hot fiery stuff, you know, in a pit, and that was it. Back in those days, that was the same brain that landed on the moon. All right, so obviously physical evolution was kind of out of the ball game and something different was taking place, a different kind of uh, resource utilization took place that doesn't have anything to do with physical evolution. Um, it has to do with the evolution of a knowledge base, uh, books, being able to retain knowledge and to build on knowledge. And that's the real game, and that's the real substance of our intelligence. The rest of our intelligence was meager. It wasn't much more incredible than the distinction between a gorilla and a chimpanzee that uses a little stick to catch a, 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 um, a termite. The distinction was very small, and there was a huge potential created by that change in our brain. So, but there was no evolution of our brain to support uh, landing on the moon intelligence. It's the same brain. So that's the fundamental argument. Um, and he did nothing. He didn't touch that with anything. He didn't even get in the same, um, you know, the same universe as that argument. Um, and the rest of his video is just incoherent bibble babble. It's just pointless, stupid, idiotic. Uh, to talk about differences in structure when animals live by different senses, or the primary senses, is just irrelevant. Um, you can you can dissect a porpoise brain and you'll find all kinds of different features, but they're basically doing the same thing. They're modeling the world. They're just using different senses, and so yeah, theirs isn't as efficient as ours. The truth is, okay, clickety click uh, sonar isn't as good as being able to see and uh, touch and manipulate the environment the way we can. Their life is swimming and uh, clickety click crap. Um, and so, yeah, their brain maximizes that environment differently. And I just would argue that we are just able to get so much more out of our environment. 
and that's why we have the operating system. But again, gaining the operating system, in my opinion, is a subtle change in brain function, a subtle change in priorities. And the verbal part was a big part of what gave it to us. And he even conceded that point, um, that one sense can be diminished to maximize another sense in organisms. And that's all that took place for human beings. They just did the, the difference between a bat and a rat, um, a maximized sense. One's an idiot servant from the other one's perspective. Rats can do things bats can't, and bats can do things rats can't. Uh, yeah, not that complicated. So, whatever. His, his big ponage video, he, if this is his, his, his best punch, um, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, just, he's just a little pile of nothing. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it was so funny, too. He started his video by saying, you can't be calling people assholes in the beginning of your video, and he called a bunch of people, you know, he started his video with his little asshole tirade and his little idiot revealed shit in here, which isn't even a very good sentence, which I also pointed out. I mean, it's not really, doesn't sound right. This and could be an idiot revealed or and idiot revealed, which is sort of a bad sentence. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so the guys fail all over the place. Now, Heroin Church, two parts, and played my video, um, but, um, yeah, he didn't touch anything either, just, just, he hasn't refuted the argument, he keeps claiming that I threw the first punch, which is just over, everybody knows that's a lie, so you're not gonna, you're not gonna, um, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be able to establish any sympathy, um, with people that know the history with lies like that, all right, that's not gonna wash. I didn't come after you, I didn't go after you, I didn't touch you, I haven't posted an image of you, I haven't fucked with you in one fucking goddamn bit beyond saying I don't like you, and I'm allowed to do that on the internet. Um, and I certainly haven't slandered your position or re-paraphrased it into something perverted. What you've said about yourself is glaring and clear. And I would argue that no real anti-natalist is going to find any sympathy whatsoever in your selfish, myopic vision. Um, they're going to find it repulsive and disgusting, okay? So you and Tranquil can sit in a tree with great text and you can drink your Kool-Aid. And, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm so completely done. Um, and, and so just watch your, I, I, I would just suggest that if you want the fight to get worse, keep playing with my name, all right? If you, you want to make arguments about your nutty nihilist theory, go ahead and make nutty arguments like, you know, I can type in nihilist and I'll find nihilist nuts on the internet, um, go ahead and do that. I don't, I'm not going to waste my time. You're like an anarchist now. You're just, you're too stupid. You're too, um, idiotic. You're not going to be able to win with an intelligent people know that the past existed, okay, and, and was a real price. Those people were really conscious and they really suffered. And they also know that the future is huge and that anything we do in the present is what is going to create their nest. We're building the future's nest. Okay, intelligent people know that. So your, my life is more important shit just isn't going to wash with anybody with a brain. And uh, in my opinion, it's totally unsympathetic in that we really don't have that much of a burden here. All we have to do is articulate an argument to make arguments on the internet. Um, and then your argument that it's all failed because you can't change people, well, I, like I said, that's just your stupid opinion. I don't think it has to mean a damn thing to anybody. Uh, the fact that you're suggesting, like, to be serious, that I should go pet a dog in Africa, and that'll solve the problem. I mean, I need to change the minds of the dumb people. No, I've already explained, no, that the first world does it right first, and then they tell the third world how to do it right, and how hard they tell them. You know, they they got lots of extortion power, um, and they use it. And, uh, yeah, this is how, this is how you, you construct... Uh, an end to something. This is, the, you know, this is the only the only choice you have. There's no possible way you're going to do it um, by convincing every human being to play right. But it's already been argued and explained that this is like eradicating a, a hard disease or some other thing. You can't allow people to keep it as a pet. You know, everybody doesn't have their free choice anymore. You don't have a free choice to own bazookas or nuclear bombs or do a lot of things. Okay, it's one way or the other. One side wins the argument, one side loses the argument. And if they fuck around, um, yeah, they're going to lose everything if they keep pushing it. Um, but whatever. I, who, I don't need your strategizing, asshole, okay, from, from your um, little selfish uh, indulgent bunker. 
Um, I don't think you have any real life experience. I don't think you have anything to offer um, to qualify yourself to make judgments about what people can or cannot do with this medium. So fuck you for that. Um, yeah, and that, that's really all there is here. I'm going to continue to make my arguments, and I'm going to continue to watch fools like you trip over them and not be able to touch them and not be able to do a damn thing to them. Um, so, fine. And, and you know, to all the other anti-natalists, you've heard him in this video. You've got to understand, if you watch these two videos and he says he won't take them down, you've got the blueprint. This guy is not. It, this doesn't have anything to do with anti-natalism, okay? He doesn't give a fuck and he's made it clear. He wouldn't have had kids even if he didn't know philosophically that it was a huge risk. He didn't want them because he wouldn't want the burden of them anyway. Um... So this is this is all just bullshit. He just he's just a, a trash talking asshole, and you can see it in the videos, and you can see the parts of the videos where he laughs and skips right the fuck over. Um, so yeah, um, play with this thing at your own risk. Okay, he's just um, uh, I I wouldn't if I were you. That would be my only suggestion. Um, but like I said, whatever, um, I don't, I just don't give a fuck, but yeah, if he just keeps using my images like he owns me, or owns a piece of me, or has a right to a piece of me, then this will get worse, uh, because that's just bullshit. Uh, make, you, you've shown your face in video, make your own videos, asshole, you don't make them out of me, fucker, <laughs> yeah, I mean, really, you want me to do the same shit to you? And then you won't ever have, you won't ever be able to take those videos. Any video I put up on my website, you know, you're not going to ever be able to take down. So, um, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, there's just nothing else to say. So anyway, just an update. See if there's anything else worth talking about. Really aren't too many good videos here, unfortunately. Um, yeah, but the other thing is, too, these people don't know shit, you know, I mean, this guy does, he, he talks about Boo Boo, he doesn't even know how many kids Boo Boo has, doesn't understand, he, it's like he doesn't even watch their videos, and then he talks shit about them, and you're saying, what the fuck is that? Um, you know, and, and I like Feta, and he talks about Feta, and so maybe him, Heroin Church and Feta are good friends, I don't know, um, he talks like they are, um, and yeah, he has a, a, a pleasant enough style, but once somebody pushes his bucket buttons, he starts getting a little mockery in there, too. And so how long has he been on the Internet? You know, how long has he been making videos? Let's see how long the bullshit until he st it starts wearing on him and he starts fighting back, too. So we'll see about that. Um, you know, But I, I really don't see any... I don't have any obligation to waste time on um, people who have declared themselves willing to be an asshole. And, um, yeah, it's just an idiotic strategy, in my opinion. I, I don't... What, what, why, why should I be polite to somebody who doesn't show me the same courtesy? That doesn't make any sense. And all of the Ephelis videos are pretty much polite. I mean, I even try not to swear in them, but I certainly don't waste my time talking about these moronic personalities on the Internet in those videos. And, uh... It, like most of the videos I've made, it has nothing to do with personalities. So this, this, again, this backseat driving about what the right strategy is, is just so meaningless to me. And it's so ironic in a way, because here he is whining in these two videos about how he needs to live his own life and be, and, and how he has to have his own, you know, it, it's just too much of a burden to be a philosopher on the internet and all this other crap because it's too hurtful to him personally. And he wants to take away from me all I've got in terms of my personality on the internet. I'm supposed to be some sort of machine that gets on the internet and can't be offended and can't be irritated and can't be feel like shit and can't have a, an attitude. Um, it's rather amazing. I mean, the hypocrisy of it. Um, but that's not what I'm going to do on YouTube or on the Internet. And uh, I'm certainly I'm not, I'm not going to change any part of my perspective with these non-arguments. I mean, these are just all win videos. These are just, it's all win for me. Um, so good. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta feel good about that. I win again. Yay. Um, yeah, so that's it. So that's a lot shorter than a half hour. So I've, I've saved you some trouble. 
Well, I've saved you some. I've given you, <laughs> I give you back 20 minutes of your life. Um, so that's good. Because, yeah, the, like I said, in the, the, the video to Hannibal Barca, I was basically just re-articulating this. I, I kept falling into that trap. I mean, I would say something, and then when he continued playing the video, I say exactly the same thing in the original argument. So he's changed nothing. He's made no argument that undoes a single thing I said. So, um, yeah, just what a huge waste of time. Uh, I mean, let's also realize there's there's no... Archaeology can only do so much. And you can't, you know, soft tissues aren't retained in the fossil record. Uh, so how the brain was structured, what the brain was doing, you really can't deduce just from the outside of somebody's head. I mean, obviously, you see all kinds of different heads walking around on the street every day. Uh, different shapes, and I mean, mine's got lumps and lumps and all kinds of shit going on on it. And if somebody was to find my fossilized skull, they might draw all kinds of wacky conclusions. And uh, that's all they'd be, is wacky conclusions. So anyway... Yeah, there, I'm real, there's no point in, in... Oh, look at that. My blood is red. Oh, thank you, Thunderfoot. That's going to be so interesting. Oh! I bet it has something to do with hemoglobin. I bet. Oh, and oxygen. Oh! Oh, it's good to have the atheist on the internet challenging those difficult questions. Yeah, that's the one we all need to know. Yeah. 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 Fuck the meaning of life. Fuck purpose. We gotta figure out why blood is red. Rainbow nutballs. Oh, fuck the internet. Fuck people also. Yeah, that was the other thing here when Church said, you know, why should I care about people? Blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? They gave birth to you, didn't they? See, the assholes give birth to the non-assholes. And so if you give a shit about the non-assholes of the future, yeah, and you want to really prevent them, well, yeah, you're going to have to do it through the assholes. It's just the way it works. <sighs> yeah, so there's really nothing. I mean, I'm not going to explain the real ABCs of antinatalism. Yeah. I mean, it's about prevention. Yeah. It's about stopping people from imposing. These are just basic values. Uh, you know, he keeps talking like, well, you, you're uh, interfering in their um, autonomy, he calls it. Their autonomy to what? To, to impose? I mean, it's just so stupid. They've committed the first crime, just as you committed the first crime, you little lying sack of shit. Um, so anyway, but enough, 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 enough. Till next time, and such, and so forth and whatnot.